Yo, what's good guys? Coach Tech here. So today we got more, some more Chinese air coolers to review. Let's go. Now this one is over here from Intermax. This is the ets T50. You cop it on Amazon. I'm saying it's around like $60 to $65. I'll have the link in the description below. Now this one should work for all your um, uh, ARGB functionalities. We have the Aura, we have the Gigabyte, we have the Asus Aura Gigabyte, Razer Chrome, Apoly Chrome, ASRock, and MSI. Uh, and we have the addressable header as well with the Intermax, I wanna say here. Now I got the white version, comes in black or, and white. I got white. Uh, it's uh, very interesting. We have like the heat dissipation technology over here, how they have it, uh, patented VGF design. We have uh, basically all this cool looking thingy majiggies over here. Uh, next, we have our presentation here with the address above. I gotta say, the presentation in the box looks absolutely fire. We have specifications, all that stuff. I'll have the link, uh, I'll have them in the description below. But uh, quickly, we have supporting LG, uh, Intel sockets, LG 2066 all the way to 1150. Uh, AMD, we have AM4 all the way to FM1. So supports plenty of different CPUs. Uh, but, but what do we have here? We have overall dimensions. I'll have that listed there. Heat pipe, heat pipes. We got five heat pipes, which is nice. Uh, copper heat pipes. Uh, speed. We have fans from five, 500 RPM to 1600 RPM. Basically all of this I'm gonna put over here. But anyways, very nice presentation. Supports uh, plenty of different CPUs. Uh, I wanna say, does this it doesn't support uh, here now it doesn't want to support tr 4s now all right so just want to double check that anyways let's pop this bad boy out for the presentation very nice okay all right oh wow so the fan is already pre-installed everything is already pre-installed which is nice wow i gotta say it's beautiful looking it's big too this goes here the packaging man on point did i take everything out seems like i took everything out Wow, very nice. All right, so this is the accessory box itself. Ooh, I'm feeling it already. God damn, this is massive. We got Magnum Thermal Paste, Cast Snow. Coach is a big fan. This is what I'm talking about. Every company repping like that, very nice. Look, it's already self-packaged and we have the little stick here to smudge it and organize it and whatnot. But this is what I'm talking about. Look at the size of this thermal paste, man. You know, most coolers, in most coolers we get them little ass, like one time or two time use maybe. This bad boy over here is many time use, all right? This is what I'm talking about. Last company who gave us this, I wanna say, who was it, who was it? You guys will remember, I, I forgot. I, I, it wasn't PC Cooler, I think it was, I, yeah, it was ID Cooling. I wanna say ID Cooling gave us the same exact one. It was massive, I am feeling that, very nice. We have different brackets over here. Okay, so everything is, so this is nice. It's broken down here, AMD, so you guys are not, you know, if you're new to this, you guys are not gonna get confused. So this is for the AMD bracket. I wanna say this is a back plate for something. We're gonna look into this, Dif different screws, different, basically different screws, all that fun stuff here. Uh, with the user manual, of course, I'm gonna look through the user manual. Everything's gonna be broken down. We're gonna talk about the installation process. I'll show you guys basically how to install everything to make everyone's life easier. Uh, straight off the bat, just looking at it, um, I wanna say, do, 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 yeah, I gotta like literally look through this. This is a lot of reading. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do this on the fly now, but I gotta see how to install this. Very interesting. So, yeah, I'm gonna come back into this when I'm show you guys how to install everything. But Wow. Yo, the cooler, man, the, wow. Just, wow. Well, that's all I could say, guys. It's flipping beautiful, man. The white looks great, and just like, the design is just as beefy. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five heat pipes, as they mentioned. Wow, very nice. We could add on a fan here as well. Very, let me take all these wires out. My goodness, this thing is beautiful. Wow, okay, so we have our, and everything is braided. Okay, what's nice? Uh, the white braiding, um, it's a plus or minus because you, gotta just, you guys gotta understand, motherboards, majority of motherboards are black or darker colors, so this might stand out. Uh, correct me in the comments, you know, if, if I'm wrong or whatnot. Uh, preferably if it was black, it would make a little more, but again, to each their own, this is completely subjective to me, but anyways, it's white, and we have the a white addressable header as well. This is the for the fan itself. Uh, this is four pins, so of course PWM. You're gonna wanna peel this off when you're gonna install it with the thermal paste. But wow, very nice. Beastly, man. I, 
my goodness. So, but I want to, I want to see if this, and now I'm not sure exactly what this is. It doesn't seem like it's removable. It's, oh, actually I could pop this out. Oh, okay, cool. So I could pop this out. I'm not sure what this bracket is for. I got to look at the manual. This is very interesting. I'm not sure exactly what this is for. Maybe to just protect it. Maybe to protect it. If you can, but anyways, basically, if you're not going to use this, you could remove it. Um, or, okay. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so that's... Oh, I just got it. Oh, this is fuego, bro. Check it. Oh, I just got it. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Look, hold on for me. Bear with me in a second. So you know how you got them cheap-ass uh, CPU coolers? And you have those dumb... Um, uh, springs, those, uh, not springs, but you know what I'm talking about, those clips. Bro, this is fire, man. So if you, instead of you using them dumbass clips, and you guys know I hate those stupid clips because it's so hard, especially if you're new, if you're new to this, if you're new to building PCs, if you're new, just overall to getting um, air, air coolers, it's hard as heck, man, to like plug them in. So this is basically, I wanna say a, is this removable? So this is a replacement. So this is like a bracket that they made I want to say you just put in the fan and yeah, so you just, you just clip it, you clip on the fan and that's it, bro. This is sick. And you just take it out. So in future, if I want to add a fan, I'm going to see how sturdy this is actually. It's, just, it's like coming out like that. Very nice. So in the future, if I want to add another fan, I could, I could just install it into here, right? How it's installed, it's installed somehow. I want to say like, yeah, and install it and, and then just, I could install it and just plug in the fan, right? It's what it seems, or maybe I'm bugging. Let me know in the comments. I believe this is removable, but if this is if this is how it is, this is so fuego, man, because I don't gotta worry about, yeah, this is, I mean, this is how it seems. So I could just put in a fan here, right? And I could just pop it in. Let me see. All right, so I just had a Asia horse fan laying around. I wanna see, if I put this like this, is this working or I'm, I'm just bugging or I'm getting hyped for no reason? Will it just pop in? I, I don't believe so. No. So I just hype for no reason. My fault, you <laughs> This is why I do these things, you know? Because <laughs> I know you cats would be curious too. Hey, yo, Kosha, check this out. Is this how you do it? So I guess now I got to find out exactly what this is or only is it only for fans because these don't look like they're removable. Um, so yeah, I think you got to get like an Intermax fan maybe and you could do it only do it with the Intermax fan If you want to add a second fan, but I am feeling this like this It just like pops in which is I wish it was like this in all fans and I wish that um, Maybe I could I could somehow put this in because I'm not sure but anyways Let me look at the manual because I'm bugging right now. I'm confused this heck. Let me exactly see because I think it might, you might have to use an Intermax fan to be honest. I think you have to probably buy an add-on fan and, and uh, plug it in. If that's the case, that's pretty whack. But uh, technology-wise, it's pretty uh, pretty dope that they actually give you an option like that just to pop it out because I hate those little stupid uh, metallic things you gotta plug in the metal prongs. But very nice, we have the nice white. Looks very dope. But anyways, let me let me, um, let me me install this bad boy. Let's talk about the installation and whatnot. And uh, let's see if this bad boy's worth it. Let's go. All right, so guys, so firstly, I gotta say the instructional guide is actually pretty on point. It breaks down everything really easy for you. Now there's two sections. This section is for AMD processors. Since I am using the Ryzen 7 2700X, I'm gonna be using this, and this is for Intel, basically. Here, everything else is broken down for Intel. Very self-explanatory, very easy to install. Basically shows you how to install the backplate. Now the backplate, which I did show, this backplate over here is both for Intel and AMD. Now this um, front plate over here basically is for AMD uh, processors. Now for Intel, you're gonna use this, uh, these brackets here. And I will be using the uh, Intermax thermal, thermal paste to test the cooling and whatnot. Now I did, I did follow with the manual, very simple to install, very simple installation guide here. All you have to do, use is just use this washer slash screw, the metallic one. You're just gonna screw them on into here. And that's basically it. These smaller washers over here are, I believe, are for Intel, as well as this is for Intel. And that's basically it. So now I basically installed everything. Let me, uh, simple as that. Let me uh, install the cooler. Now the cooler is gonna basically sit, right? I'm just gonna do freestyle this for you cats. So the cooler is essentially gonna sit right. 
sit right here right this is how it should sit it shouldn't be that difficult i should may hopefully not remove the ram i don't think so so the cooler is going to screw in right the cooler is going to screw into these metal prongs essentially uh, sticking out so this is where the cooler is going to install and we're going to put the thermal paste in here and this is where the cooler is going to sit and install and you're going to use a screwdriver to install a very simple process but anyways let's go all right so one thing i just want to show you guys you see this this space over here this offset you want to call our space is just look how nice it is i mean it's so much easier to screw it in right screw in the air cooler like this with the ram essentially sold so essentially you don't have to remove the ram that's a big plus now this thing over here i thought this was a bracket so it's an air guide right you heard that correctly so you can move it you're saying you can move the direction of the air essentially so i'm not sure how optimal this is going to be so essentially when the when the fan is going to be spitting instead of it when it spins instead of it dissipating air from how they're selling it here everywhere it's going to be essentially just dissipating it to wherever you want so if you wanted to essentially go like this it's going to be just dissipating here from the rear or i guess it's a 360 air guide so i don't know it's fun to play with i'll definitely check it out i guess i'll just leave it like this so it's going to dissipate this way but yeah and then the second fan just goes in very easy uh, you just have to bas basically just position it and snap it in into here and that's basically it so very interesting design and now let's go into the performance all right guys so the cooler is installed i gotta say it looks absolutely gorgeous with the asia horse heat sinks as well as the cooler master halo fans which i did review which i'll have it in the description below uh but regardless of the fact um we got one thing i gotta say about this um the fan is you can't swap your own fan which is pretty whack in this design how they did it um i'm not sure like if you get on their website a different fan if because basically if this fan you know breaks or just stops working whatever could be the case i'm not sure exactly how it it's easy to stop because this looks like a very proprietary design so that's kind of a bit of a negative but overall i gotta say it looks pretty dope and then this uh ventilation thing for the air to go through not, i don't know i mean i don't think it's gonna make a big difference at all i wish we could just throw an additional fan here but overall let's check out basically how it's doing now so we got uh, it's, uh what do we got here we got it at minimum it basically i didn't between like 34 and then it just fluctuates uh basically at 34 celsius we have the ryzen 7 uh, ryzen 7 2700x as it says here we have it overclocked to at all cores at four gigs basically right now like i said idle temps also remember remember i said the white wire you see white really sticks out you know because i said the motherboards the majority of motherboards are black so it's a minor thing just want to give you guys a heads up so try to hide it if you don't want it to really stick out but the cooler itself looks absolutely gorgeous with the fan with all the rgbs but anyways we got the fan running at like around 1000 rpm as, as it basically uh, says it right here at uh, 1100 a minimum at 958 and maximum at 1290 but anyways i just want to let you guys hear it it's very quiet i literally have it right next to the glass uh now let's run ida let's go all right we have ida 64 running for what we got here an hour and five minutes we have the, 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 the maximum at 62 degrees Celsius, we have minimum at 34. We have basically it current run, currently running at 60 degrees Celsius. We have the fan basically on its max at 1800 RPM. Maximum went over to 1844. I mean, you do hear it. I'm gonna let you guys hear it in a second, but I mean, over an hour, 60 degrees Celsius, you know, typical, but I want you guys to hear it. You do definitely hear it. I mean, the the Halo fans are also running at maximum RPM. Now, what I want to do is I want to run, um, I want to stress out the GPU, the RX 590, which I have over here. So let's do that. Let's run Valley in the background and let's run Ada 64 again, just to see the maximum, how hot, how hot the the graphics card will get, as well as the uh, how hot the cooler is going to get. Let's go. All right. So of course, Valley is running in the back uh, in the background. Now the noise you hear is coming from the RX 590. And speaking of the RX 590, we basically have the power and temp limit turned up all the way. Now we have the CPU running at 71 degrees Celsius, so it jumped up like 10, 11 degrees. We have the fans running currently at, we got here 1785. We have maximum 1824. The maximum CPU uh, temperature was at 76, currently running at like around 70, 71, even hitting 72. Now in the description below, I will have other CPU coolers as well, as well as their performance benchmarks too. Overall, 
not a bad uh, air cooler. However, I gotta say, two just big negative, two big negatives that from from what I've seen, so from what I, what I tested, this is proprietary. So it's not like you could just put in any fan. You can clip on a fan though. I believe you would have to get those clips and you could clip them on from how I see it here. And the same thing on the other side, you cannot add a second fan. Pretty big downfalls. And of course the white wire, that's very subjective. But overall, not a bad cooler. It does a decent job for performing. Now in the price range, I'll have other coolers below in the similar to less expensive price ranges as well that perform very similar. As always, guys, I'm Kosha Tech. Let me know what you cats think about this air cooler. I'm going to catch you cats next time. Deuces.